Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today we're going to be looking at the key command or shortcut for creating track stacks. Now track stacks are fantastic organizational functions that allow you to place tracks and regions in groups, which make it a lot easier to keep things tidy and control whole groups of items all in one go. All right, let's get started. Okay, so as I've mentioned before in previous videos, I love to organize my things and keep things tidy on screen, especially when it comes to color coding groups of tracks or regions, as well as grouping things together so that I can apply effects and other controls to whole groups of related sounds. So right here, I've got my drums and they've all been color coded. And what I'm going to do now, because I just want to hear the drums, I'll need to go through and I'm going to solo all of these drum parts. Now, when I create a track stack, this is going to be a lot more simple, but we'll get to that. So let's have a quick listen to the drums. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the kicks here, snares and everything, and they've got all of their individual parameters set up and they're all going out to the stereo bus, the main stereo out, okay? What I wanna do is create a track stack so that I can condense all of this down into a single track or folder, which will allow me to apply processing to the entire drum group. And that will give me a lot of flexibility. Also, it will tidy things up on the screen so that I won't have all of these tracks spread out in this way. Let's have a look. So. To do this, what we need to do is click on the first track that we want to place in the group, which is this one, the kicks. And I'm gonna come down to this bot bottom one here, which is the T2 kit, hold down the shift key and click with my mouse right here. Now, all of these items have been selected and they're gonna be part of the group. The next thing I wanna do is hold down Command Shift D, and this will convert all of these tracks to a track stack. Now, we've got this dialog box which comes up and I have two options. We'll check out the folder stack first. Let's go to that. And as it says here, we're gonna create a basic track stack allowing us to control the volume of all of these tracks in one go and they'll be grouped together in a single lane. Let's create that and see what happens. And here we have it. This is now our new track stack. And if I was to hit this arrow, we can now see all of the drum tracks in this group. Press the arrow again to close it, and there we are. What's great about this is, let's switch off the solo. And as you saw before, when I tried, when I wanted to solo all the individual parts, I had to click on each individual track. Now, if I wanna solo the drums, let's play back the track, in fact. Now, there you go. Just hitting one solo button on the actual group lane allows me to solo the whole drum section. The other great feature is that we've got a subgroup volume fader, which will allow us to adjust the volume of the entire drum group. Here we go. And if we go to the main mixer, we'll see here that we can pull this up and down. And if we hit this, this will open up all of the drum tracks. Here we are. If I pull this up and down, it doesn't affect the individual drum track faders, okay? Okay, so I undid all of the changes I recently made, and now we're going to choose the second option from the track stack option box. So once again, click on our first track, which is the kicks track, hold down shift and click on T2 kit. And once again, it's command shift D. This time we're gonna go for a summing stack. You can read the dialogue here. This one allows you a lot more flexibility and a lot more control over the tracks that are stacked or grouped together. Now, as we can see here, all of our drums are outputting to the stereo out or the main stereo bus. However, using the, the summing stack function, we're going to create a subgroup output. 
And if we hit create now, let's see what happens. Everything has now been bussed through to bus seven. If I slide this up a touch, everything has now been sent through to group bus seven, which is now our drum bus. So if I press X on the keyboard, I'll get rid of the mixer. And right here, you can see all of the drums have been stacked together. If I double click here, I can change this to drums. We can double click here and it will automatically open up the folder or we can hit the drop down arrow. And here is the group fader. This is where we can adjust the overall volume of the drums. And we have all of our group bus parameters just here. So if I hit solo again, okay, we can adjust the volume. We can also apply EQ to the overall drums. So if I was to say apply a high shelf, you can hear that being adjusted, which is cool. Another useful feature when creating a summing track is being able to apply third party effects plugins such as Alloy 2, which I like to use across my drums. And I'll just, I'll just stick a preset over the top. And now this is affecting my entire drum group. So the track stack function is not just for drums. I've got loads of synths here. So, so if I was to select my first synth there and come down to this one, again, it's command shift D. This time I'll create a folder stack. Hit create. Now I've just got a single volume fader for the group. I'll double click here and I'll call this synths and adjust the volume, adjust the solo. And there you go. So hopefully this will help you to organize things and give you a bit more control over groups of instruments that are related. Once again, I really do hope this video helps you in your music production. So do remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. This is Dr. Deuce. I'll be back real soon. Peace.